what I'm going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about what I think is the number one mistake, the biggest mistake novices make when they're trying to do their own home repairs. And I'm going to explain to you what that is right after this. Hey, once again, welcome to that Kilted Guy videos here where we teach you home improvement videos. We're going to teach you how to do these yourself, empower you to do it yours. But we're going to teach you how to do it yourself, save some money and take pride in workmanship doing it yourself. And today what we're going to talk about is the number one biggest mistake that I see novices make. And I see this all the time, but, but before we get into that, if you're a repeat viewer of mine, you might want to skip ahead a little bit. You probably heard this before, but for all of my new viewers, I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe. We've got a whole lot of videos that we're putting out to teach you guys how to do this stuff and teach you how to do it right. And if you like this video at the end, be sure and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the description down below. I've got a lot of good information, a link to an Amazon store where I've outlined some tools that will work best for doing this stuff and a link to our website, some free guides we give away and so on. Now I've been doing this for over 30 years and I've done lots and lots of, and probably tens of thousands of repairs. I specialized in repairs for half of that time, so over 15 years. And I've seen lots of homeowners, handyman, carpenters, plumbers, pet sitters, you know, everybody tries to do their own drywall and that's what we're here to teach you. I'm encouraging you guys to do it, but I often see one really common mistake that costs you guys in quality. And there's kind of two parts to it. So I'm going to show you what that is and how to not do that. And it's really not that hard. You guys are just making this one simple mistake a lot. And the mistake is this. Yes, it's a mud knife. This one is a six inch knife. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people try it themselves. And just the other day, I was on a job helping a friend of mine doing some work for him. And he had a helper there. And she's been trying to learn how to do the basics of drywall, the repairs and that. And I gave her a few pointers. Well, when I showed up, she was trying to do everything with this six inch knife. And I showed her why that's not really a good idea, which I'm gonna show you guys here. She was struggling. It actually was looking not so great. It comes out really rough. And so the, the theory that I see a lot of you trying to do is put it on rough and sand it smooth. That's not how we do it. And that's not how you have to do it. It's not really that hard to do it the right way. So let me just demonstrate on this scrap piece of rock here. I just did a video on matching texture with a texture sponge where you can make that yourself. So look that up if you want. But let's just say you needed to coat this spot right here. So everybody gets out their mud and their six inch knife. And let's just say it's a little bit bigger because if it's just a six inch knife, you just go like that. It's not that bad. But here's where the problem comes in. You put on the mud and You're trying to get it coated and then you're trying to smooth it out and it kind of comes out like that a lot of times. Now, some of you might be able to do it a little bit better, but it's still, I'm kind of exaggerating a little so you can see it on camera better, but it still leaves these lines everywhere. So let's say I try and smooth it out a little bit more and you still have all these lines. Well, the problem is the mud is a lot wider than your knife and these knives just don't float out mud. So here's the solution. Get the bigger knife. A good size I'd recommend for you guys is a 10 inch or a 12 inch. This is a 12 inch knife. Now watch how quickly I change the look of that. Okay, you see all the little lines in it that's left? And I, I feel like I could leave it smoother and I could do that for this video, but if I do that, it's not gonna show what I see you guys doing all the time. So now watch, we take this 12 inch knife, we make one pass across it. Actually, what you normally should do is start by feathering these outside edges. That's where you bend your knife, go around the outside edge, you take away that, that rough 
edge right there. So, so now we've feathered it. Now we go across it one time. And what we do is we lay our knife down a fairly low angle and you actually have to push fairly firmly and then just do this. And see how smooth that came out? That quick. Now, that requires almost no sanding. I mean, almost zero. You're gonna have to sand that outside edge and that's it. Now, doesn't that look a lot better? That's because these knives float things out. The little knives don't. They're great. I use them all the time, but you got to use the right tool for the right job. Now, is it as easy as I made it look? Not really. When I showed this person the other day, I forgot how difficult it is for people who haven't run these 12 inches knives. Now, what's hard about it is you actually have to push quite hard. It's kind of hard to describe because to me, it's not that hard. Now, if you have a hard time with this, what I'd suggest is going out and doing some uh, exercise. If you're going to do this very much, if you're doing it one time, don't worry about this. But if you're going to do this much, practice a lot or just go do some exercises where you do these wrist curls with the weight. You're trying to build up this muscle right here. That's the one that gives you the pushing power. So I noticed what she was having trouble with is we got it on here. And it was pretty rough, like, say, like that. And she went to wipe it, and, and it just kind of smeared it. I, I can't hardly do it, honestly, because I've done this so much. But I figured out what she was doing was she wasn't pushing hard enough. So when I told her how to push harder, so she got out both hands and really gave it a push, and all of a sudden, it smoothed right out. So... Just be aware that you do actually have to push fairly firmly. And anytime you're running these knives, the more you stand it up like this, the more you're gonna take off. So if I go across here, I'll take almost all of it off. If I lay it way down, you don't wanna drag that or your knuckles through it, but if you lay it way down, you may not take off enough if you don't push hard enough. But there's the secret right there. So hey, I hope that helped you out. Solve the riddle of why this isn't always the best knife. If that did help you out, let me know. If you already knew this, let me know too. I appreciate you guys' comment. Please comment down below. That helps my channel grow. And if you like it, be sure and give us that big thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. Click that bell icon. You'll get a lot more notifications about the videos that are coming up. We've got a whole lot more in mind. So we're gonna put out a lot to help you guys. So check out the link down below in the description for any tools that you need and let us know what you think and we'll see you on the next video. Everybody take care, we'll see you then. So hey, I hope, so hey,